Look at all of these potholes, man. Absolutely flying. Oh, Jesus, I'm sinking, I'm sinking. Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, I'm currently in this little area. You can't actually see because these friggin' bushes are so big. But right up there is some amazing looking rock. It doesn't look that good on here. But I've spent the past like, probably like 20 minutes trying to find this place that uh, I went to on my first ever um, uh, road trip with the boys, like for scootering. And I just can't find the exact place. This definitely isn't it because it had a much nicer road and the rock view was so much better. But um, let's get, let's jump in the car and I'll tell you actually what I'm doing. And yeah, let's get it. Hi boys. So basically, I'm so sorry that start was a bit random, but I promise you if I found this place like that I was actually looking for, there would have been a full on like full circle moment that I would have explained, but moment gone I guess I could not find it I yeah I just could not find it but anyways you're probably wondering if you haven't already like seen the title of the video uh, you might be wondering where I'm going what I am doing and yeah basically it is a long weekend right now so the thing that I have wanted to do for quite a while now for the channel is basically do camping and riding videos together. I do like camping quite a lot now. I've found a real love for it. And um, I also still love scootering, you know, but I, I really miss the traveling aspect of that. And basically that's what I'm gonna start doing for the YouTube. It might be a bit, it probably will be actually, a bit longer videos. Um, but I don't really mind. I'm I'm more keen for the memories that I can make of this uh, new format that I want to do. But again, that doesn't actually explain what I'm doing in this in this video right now. So I am going camping. I am also riding. I am going right now. I'm on a road to uh, Rochester. Okay, a camping spot in Rochester. Well, hopefully I can find a camping spot in Rochester. Um, and then uh, tomorrow we will be riding uh, Rochester Skate Park. And then we will also be going to Moama Skate Park. And then we will set up another camp on the Murray. Where I've got a bunch of other activities um, planned. I'm just gonna bring you guys along with me. I'm not really too sure how to do this right now, but it's a learning curve and there's no better way than just to get it started now, you know? That probably didn't make sense, but we're just gonna start it now and see what we can do with it. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna film too much on the road there. We're still an hour and a half out, but um, when we get there, like to the spot, uh, I'll see what I can do. Stay tuned boys, stay tuned. Alright boys, we made it to the camp spot. I'm not gonna lie, I might have came a little bit too late. Um, I've got probably the worst spot in this entire area. Everyone's here. I'm not too cut about it though because uh, this is like just a on the way kind of camp. It's not the actual camp I want to be at. So I have just finished setting up. I'll give you a little little tour. So oh, this back part actually isn't set up yet, but we've got the fridge and stuff in there. The kitchen will come out soon. I'll show you that anyway. We've got the, the awning tent. There's not much in here, it's just, I don't even know if you've ever seen a dark, no you cannot. But that's just all my like dry foods and stuff. Um, and then somewhere where I can actually have some privacy and get changed and stuff. Got the swag here, with the, the mesh mat. And then we've got our little fire, it has to be little just cause um, I'm not actually, I don't think I'm actually on the actual campsite area. But that's fine, I'm, I've dug a hole, safe, controlled fire. 
Um, and it just has to be a little, it just has to uh, keep me warm for the night, which is fine. Um, I'm about to cook food because I'm hungry as, and, uh, and then I'll probably hit the bet, uh, hit the hay to be honest. Look at that background though. If I was actually over there where everyone else is, bro, it would have been nice. Like it was on the riverbank, would have been so good, but it was just so packed. I left it way too late. Um, I'm gonna make some food and I'll probably go to bed soon just cause I'm super tired. I've like had work today, done a bit of driving. So I'm gonna eat and then hit the hay. Anyways, let's cook. So we've got this kitchen set up. We've got the burner going. I think tonight I am gonna be cooking some burgers. Just something real like quick and easy. Um, yeah, it's super late and I really wanted to film this like when it was still light. Uh, just so it's better lighting for you guys and you can actually like, you know, get the full, full experience with me. But um, yeah, we'll just start cooking and I might just do a little time lapse or something, but I don't know, we'll, just set, we'll get cooking. Let's go. All right, boys. I've just pre-made everything for the burgers. We've got the burgers cooking. Oh, burgers cooking. Eggs are cooking. But there is one thing we need. Just before we can actually eat anything. Let me go into the fridge here. Scalvage through it. Get back on a tripod because it actually might be a little bit easier to do this. We got the old CC. But, oh, I'll turn this off, sorry. What I've noticed, since cooking right now, um, I might need a new burner. Cause I only want, like this side over here where the eggs are at, we weren't cooking the burgers. Um, so I've just had to put it in the, the pot side. And uh, it's definitely cooking. You can hear the sizzle. Beauty, beauty. But yeah, I don't know if I said it before, boys. But this is actually my first solo trip camping. Um, I just thought it would be a lot easier to film. But yeah, it's a little bit of a struggle right now. Just because of the time. Just because when I left work and actually left where I live, it, everything became so friggin' um, like it just like became so late so quick. And uh, yeah, I got here like, with 10 minutes left of daytime, like, I had to quickly set up camp, get the fire going, and then, obviously, had to start cooking, but, tomorrow will be better, lads. Tomorrow will be better. Anyways, I'll catch you when I finish eating, well, finish cooking. Boys. Look at how beauty that is. Although, we do got to add one more thing. Yeah. Chuck that on there. Now she's mint. Now she's mint. Let's go. All right, boys. First freaking bite. Let's go. Mmm. I'm not gonna lie to you. The bread probably left it outside for too long, like just then because all the air is like dried it up real good. But, mm. not bad, not bad at all. Although, I did just realize I'm forgetting something. Give me two seconds. I forgot the drink, the bloody drink, mate. I'm gonna enjoy my meal, and I'll catch you probably when I'm in bed, just cause uh, I'm probably gonna hit, hit the hay after this. But I um, hope you've enjoyed the episode so far. It's, as I said, it's a little bit slow, a little bit sluggish, but uh, it will get better. All right, catch you soon, cheers. Morning, guys. Uh, Sorry I didn't film anything last night. Uh, it got like too dark and I was honestly just so tired just from driving. 
but it is now morning, it's the next day, sleep was okay, wasn't the best, wasn't the worst, it was just freaking cold man, but I've woken up, started the fire, didn't put any fresh wood on there just because um, I'm not going to be here for long, I'm just waiting for everything to dry up because everything's wet from the condensation, so I'm going to dry up, wait for everything to dry up, dry up, pack up, and I'm going to head to Rochester Skate Park, also currently waiting for the friggin' the kettle to warm up so I can have a nice cup of Milo and uh, yeah not much is going to be happening this morning I'll probably pack up all the dry things and then we'll be on the road and yeah I'll just catch us at Rochester Skate Park let's go boys the pack up is done it took a little bit just because the sun was not coming out and trying to dry up everything but uh, we got there eventually um, I haven't really done much this morning I've just been chilling just packing up and yeah it's 10 14 right now so I actually am leaving here a little bit earlier than I thought I was going to be, but that's fine. I was going to leave at like 11, but that's fine. We're going to go on the way to Rochester, and then, um, yeah. So uh, I'll just see you in the car. All right, boys. We are finally leaving here, and I'm finally going to be able to ride a skate park. I'm very, very keen for. Sorry about that little static noise just then. Oh, dude, I've been waiting. We're finally leaving Rochester. Uh, not Rochester, we're finally leaving this campground. Um, I'll put a little, like a map on the screen of actually where it is. But um, yeah, it, it wasn't too bad of a spot. Where I was probably wasn't ideal. Um, especially for the concept, content side of things, like it definitely wasn't ideal, but um, yeah, like if you get there early, maybe don't go on a public holiday either, uh, then you should be all good, but right now we're going to be on the way to Rochester, so the next scene I'll be seeing you at is Rochester Skate Park. Let's go! boys we finally made it to Rochester skate park let's go oh, I've been here for about like 10 minutes now and I don't know if you can actually see it on the camera I'm sure you can I am sweating it is it's only 21 degrees bro and the sun there's not a cloud in the sky at all uh, it is not 21 bro I'm telling you but we are finally at the riding part of the video. If you're enjoying the camping stuff so far, don't leave and don't worry. There's more camping stuff and it should be even better. Um, coming up, we're gonna be going to Moama. And yeah, but we're here at Rochester Skate Park. So I'm just gonna be floating around the skate park. Obviously I'm not as good as I used to be. That's no, like that's not hidden or anything. That's no secret. Um, but I'll try and get a couple clips for you. Uh, we are going to be riding this skate park, Rochester, and then we're also going to be riding Moama skate park as well. Moama skate park I'm more keen for, don't get me wrong. But we'll see what we can pull off here. And yeah, it's that hot, bro. I also had to change into shorts. Like, it is, it is no joke, it's hot as. Alright, but let's get into the clips, let's go. <music>
I don't know idea what I just did just then. I think I did like a like a quick uh, peg chink thing to feeble hurricane. That just that was so weird. I don't know if the camera's seen that, but we're gonna do it again because that's not what I was trying to do, but new learn question mark? Let me know. That's gonna wrap it up for this skate park. I'm gonna probably just chill here for a little bit longer, maybe get some Insta clips, and then I'm gonna go to a Chuka, Moama skate park, whatever one it's called, I don't know, but we'll see you there. We just finished up at Rochester skate park. Sorry there wasn't too many clips, but um, it's like stinking hot. It is storching, scorching, storching or scorching. They both sound right, but I feel like I'm so wrong. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, now going to Moama Skate Park. Um, I wanted to get there like around about now. Just be well, I wanted to leave to go there like now because uh, I don't want to be too hot and too tired to be able to ride later. Because um, it is, it's meant to get to like I think like 33 degrees or something. And every time I've been to Moama, oh mate. It is so hot, like, every single day. So, um, we're gonna see how that goes. I should be getting there in about, like, 30, 35 minutes. But if I see, like, a, a place where I can get a drink or food, I'm gonna probably do that as well. So, um, yeah, I'll just catch you when I am there. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. Drop a like if you are. We made it, finally, to Moama Skate Park. been here for like probably like two hours now I'm not even joking like I've just been riding um, like when I got here the place was actually packed so I didn't want to film because at the last skate park a lot of people came and um, they were just like not riding at all so I didn't want that to happen here as well especially because there was way more people here than our last skate park but we're gonna get a couple clips I've also already got some insta clips already so um, I might put those in the video as well for you but we'll see what happens good as this ledge looks it's amazing don't get me wrong but it is so so slippery like legit I'm slipping off just like doing a feeble grind every single time it's actually nuts um, so I'm gonna move on just cuz I don't want to spend too much time on that and I'm getting super tired and it is so hot like it's so hot and I still have not ate so we're gonna move on to something else
so sorry, but I can't. I'm giving up, I can't ride. I've been out for too long and I haven't been filming, I've just been riding and I'm an idiot. I should have had to GoPro on or something for content, but I'm honestly dying here. It's getting way too hot. I'm gonna get to the camp spot and then um, on the way back, so I'm gonna stay at the camp spot for the rest of the weekend and then on the way back on Sunday, I'll, I'll stop here and get some actual clips. And I'll get, I'll come in in the morning as well before it gets hot, so it's a little bit better. But um, so sorry for that, guys. So sorry for that. Anyways, we're gonna make our way to the camp spot. I'll see you in the car. I cannot find a spot, guys. I was trying to find a spot on the Truka side. Truka. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was trying to. Uh, uh, Miami side. I was trying to find a spot on the wrong side and I've basically for the past half an hour I've been trying I've been driving around on these like bumpy roads and like obviously all the roads have like got major potholes and stuff because of all the floods that have recently happened. But now I'm on some riverbank, like not on some riverbank, but on some river, Gold Goldburn River. That is not where I want to be. I'm trying to find my way back to the Murray. I've got no connection out here, so I, I don't even know. I've literally lost track of where I've been. I'm just trying to get back onto the the main roads. And hopefully I can uh, redo all this, eh? But yeah, these uh, potholes are so bad, man. As I said, like this is my first solo camp trip. This is my least research camp trip. Like I normally like full proper plan. This was literally the day I left yesterday. I, I pretty much planned all this. So not much time to actually find a spot or, or anything, especially being long weekend as well. Everyone's already at all the, all the good spots. I'm sure there's still a couple out there, which I'm hoping to find. It's just me, so I haven't got too much space that I need to worry about. But I just need to get out of here, man. Like, look at this. I'll pull, up, pull up the actual camera right now. Look at what I'm dealing with. Look at all of these potholes, man. If I if I get stuck in here, I've got no way out. I haven't got a winch in my car. But yeah, you see that. I would show you guys, like, me driving through that. But, um, I need to use two hands. So I can't actually film that. Oh, uh... I'll turn the camera back on when I've made some progress and whatever I'm doing right now. Bye. All right, I just want to film this just because, like, I'm not even capping with how much people there are here. Like, literally, every spot is just full of people. All day. People, like, everywhere. Everywhere has, a like, a person in it, man. So I'm actually like really struggling to find a spot. Everyone's just gone out this weekend. Like it's actually nuts. <sighs> Alright boys, I finally made it. As you would have seen from a chainsawing, I got some firewood, but we finally got to the spot. I'll, show, I'll give you a quick run through, I just finished setting up. So obviously we got the fridge, got the kitchen area. It's got a table, water, food and stock. The awning set up, the swag which I'll be sleeping in. Got the fire, all the wood I got, and then this is the view. I'm living with for the next couple days not bad not bad gotta love the Murray the mighty Murray but as you might have seen throughout this video I obviously had the old kayak on top of the roof of the car but that's why I was like finding a specific camp spot today because uh, I want to be on the riverbank so I could actually like use it, but obviously I'm on a cliff right now, so I can't, I won't be able to use a kayak in this video. But if this video goes well, and I decide to make more of them, 
then I guess we'll have to take the next trip. I should be able to go on the water. I'll be able to climb down this. Hopefully, if I don't like make it fine, then that's not good. <laughs> but um, nah, should be good. Should be a good couple of days here. Obviously, again, shattered. I can't use a kayak, but um, yeah. I'm gonna just chill for the rest of the night just because I did eat on the way here. I've stopped at the Macca's. I was so hungry. I legit had not eaten all day. Um, and obviously riding all day just like makes you use so much energy and you just need to eat. So I did end up getting something small from our Macca's and then, yeah, I'm not gonna cook tonight. I'm not hungry. Hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. Sorry, it's a bit like everywhere. Obviously I haven't done one of these videos before and it's a lot harder doing it by yourself. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys and stay tuned. Well, like stay tuned for the rest of this video because there's still some more stuff we gotta go through. Let's go. Um, it is now, I don't even know the time, I think it's like 8 o'clock, 8.30. Um, yeah, I've just started to get the fire going, so that's just like, you know, warming up. <laughs> Pun intended. Um, but, yeah, I'm about to make breakfast, and uh, I'm going to go on a walk. Just, just to go on a walk, you know. Um, I'm not really too sure what today, I think I might have had an idea for the kayak though. So I might give that a go today and see if I can actually get something rolling with that. If I can, awesome. Um, if not, then I guess we're gonna have to make do with what we, what we can do already. Um, yeah, let's get into making breakfast in the kitchen. Let's go. Maybe we've got the kettle on because we're gonna have a, a Milo, as we do. And then for the food for breakfast, as you can tell, pancakes. Got some pancakes, bananas, and maple syrup. Um, yeah, pretty pretty chill breakfast this morning. I was gonna do bacon and egg um, sandwiches, but I reckon I'll just do that tomorrow. We'll have something a bit more, a bit more oomph today, you know. I don't think I'm even going to eat all this, and it was even more, it was probably like half a bottle of pancake mix left still, but that's alright. We'll have a, have a quick taste. Chuck a bit of banana on there. There we go. Mmm. Phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. Mmm. This is living. All right, boys, I did it, I think. I've created a system so that I can actually take the kayak down to the water. So, I used my recovery gear. Uh, we got the tree trunk strap, hooked to the tree, obviously. The shackle attached to the snatch strap. And then way down there, we got the kayak. Already down there, just the shackles holding the snatch strap and the kayak together. So all I have to do is just unscrew that, put it in the water if I want to bring it back up. Screw it back on and then all I have to do is just pull it up. A little bit of exercise. So I guess it's a win-win situation. Love to see it. Now, it's just a matter of how the hell I get down there. Because I was like standing on the, the edge over here before and I like full fell. Not fell, but like the cliff like fell. And I almost fell, so... I have to be extra careful, but I suppose I could use a snatch strap as like a, a guide rope kind of thing. Um, 
but we'll see I'm keen because now we can actually do this hopefully I don't actually yeah I don't think anyone's even gone swimming here but you know what that's fine I'm built different I'm built different boys but yeah campsite is looking gorgeous absolutely mean the fire is just not a fire I don't know what's going on with it it's burning it's warm there's just no actual flame which is fine but yeah I reckon I'll get the GoPro and then we'll start see what we can do in the water forgot one thing you know what goes in here because I know what goes in there let me go find it we forgot the can mate okay and then we send her back down um see if I can actually put the that shouldn't go anywhere if it does I'm going down there anyway so it's fine and just like that we let her down nice and slow beauty oh keep going Beauty. Oh, and the sun's coming out. That's how you know we're like timing this perfectly. All right, boys, we're in. Sorry about the grotty feet. But, um, yeah, I didn't realize how friggin' muddy and crazy that was. This is gonna be a mission to get out, to be honest, because I instantly like sunk in that. Yeah, let's go. Cruising now. Absolutely cruising until a boat comes and we go flying. But all right, right now I'm pretty deep. I low key kind of wish I didn't bring my phone because if I fall in the water, my phone is 100% getting damaged. But I'm low key trying to get to this like sand, sand part over here, eh? I reckon that'll be pretty epic. Absolutely flying. What a ripper. We actually we're in New South Wales boys. Once I get over here, this is New South Wales. The side I was on is Victoria. We're literally kayaking across states. Gone wrong in the hood. <laughs> ah, this is epic. And this would be a nice spot. I should like bring like the should have tacked a burner on here or something and just had like lunch over here. This would be a real nice spot to just sit sit and chill. Wow. Beauty. Oh, there's a big boat. Yeah, like this paddle is just going straight into the ground, man. I don't know how I'm gonna get out of here. And like right now I'm stuck. This is not where I wanna be stuck. Ugh. In the boat, the waves just push me into the bank. I suppose it's actually kind of a good thing, but if you can actually get me where I wanna go. Oh, so much water is going in here. Oh my, you guys can't see this, but so much water is coming in the kayak. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, Jesus, I'm sinking, I'm sinking. Okay, I need to get out of here, man. Okay, how am I gonna get out of here without freaking... Oh, no, 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 no. This is not good, boys. All right, I'm getting out. I'm literally gonna sink as soon as I stand on it, but... Okay. 
Oh my god. Oh. Boys. Look at that. Oh my, look how much water just got in that. I just got instantly soaked. Oh my. Oh my golly gosh. Yo, what's up boys? I'm so sorry for the lighting right now and if it keeps on cutting, uh, not cutting, but blurring me out and stuff. The lighting is terrible right now and because of that, the autofocus isn't working properly for some reason. But anyways, I'm obviously at home right now and unfortunately, because you're seeing this, I didn't film an outro. Uh, plans changed and I ended up having to come home a day or two earlier and yeah, basically that's it. Like I just, yeah, plans ended up changing I had to come home. So um, I hope that this video was actually somewhat enjoyable. It was obviously a bit everywhere because it's my first kind of video doing this. I actually realized how much harder it is to do than it was like planned in my mind. Um, I thought this was going to be a breeze and super easy to film, but this was definitely not. And I'm sure you're thinking like, oh, there wasn't much that went on, but trust me, this was a lot harder to do than I thought. And uh, I know what needs to be done and changed for next time, which is, which is also a positive, as this being my first video. Um, but unfortunately, this is the end of the video, and yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy it uh, for what it was. Again, sorry it was everywhere. Um, if you do want to see the quality get better from here on these type of videos, then be sure to subscribe. Turn on those post notifications so you can see it straight away as well. Drop this video a like. Drop a comment and let me know how I went and what I can improve on, how the pacing was, what you want to see more of. I try to balance the camping and riding. It's obviously a little bit harder when it's just me. Also quickly, hopefully, uh, put a, my Insta clips up which you'll see right now. Hey, yeah, hey, listen. We started from the bottom of the bottom and we never had a problem and we wish that we would never grow up. Now we're living bigger and better and we're doing whatever, man, I'm glad that we never gave up. So tell them I'm winning and I'm living and they ain't never gonna stop my grind. So tell them I'm winning and I'm... Beautiful, hope you guys enjoyed those clips. Uh, sorry if I had to cut the audio. Um, bloody copyright, gotta love it. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If not, I hope you enjoyed my next video because I've got a few videos that I need to edit. So I'm gonna try and gun this video down. This is gonna be the longest video I've edited on my own channel, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yes, hope you guys have a good one. Appreciate y'all. Follow all the socials in the description below. Legit all of them. Um, I'm going to try and use all my social medias a lot more. And if you guys actually engage with it and go follow and stuff, it motivates me to upload more to those. So go do that. And yeah, I'll catch you in my next video. Hope you've enjoyed. And yeah, see you when I see you.